Okay, Capricorn. So, at the beginning of this, this sketch, uh, I didn't have the internet, so I didn't have reference pictures, and then I had to stop for about two weeks until the internet came back, because I forgot what a goat looks like. So, uh, Capricorn is the sea goat. This last, like, bracket of, like, these last three are very much similar in that they all kind of seem like they could be water signs but aren't um so capricorn is the sea goat and is an earth sign and i believe the myth is that like there were sea goats that were like intelligent beings like humans or like mermaids and stuff like that but then they where they were um half fish and half goat um but then uh, they stepped on land and they lost their intelligence and they became normal goats. Uh, that might be the myth, that might just be a misconception, I don't know, but that kind of gives it somewhat of an explanation of why it's the, the Capricorn is considered um, an earth sign instead of a water sign. So uh, I'm gonna go with that because it makes me remember it better and makes me feel good. Not for the seagulls, the, the kind of sad for the seagulls, but like it makes me remember things better. Uh, so Capricorn traits, I'm trying very hard not to call Capricorn Aquarius. Um, so if I miss or if I call Capricorn something else by accident, I've, I've called Capricorn Cancer by accident as well. I know that Cancer is like ages ago at this point, but um, if I make that mistake, I am sorry. I mean Capricorn. But yeah, uh, traits, they are, they're, they're, um, go, they're very much the type of people who take things one step at a time and they will get their goals. They're, they're stubborn. I guess that's also another reason they can be part part goat because stubborn as a goat. I think that's an English saying as well. Uh, they're pragmatic, practical. Um, yeah, hardworking, and yeah, they're they're willing to put willing to have to work hard, even though the, uh, it's going to be a long time before they actually see. Uh, substantial results now uh the way i'm trying to the way i'm trying to merge the goat and the fish i'm trying to make him a goat fish human and make sure he isn't too he doesn't look too much too similar to pisces although i don't actually know what pisces is going to look like at this point um but what I am doing is, so I gave him some horns. They're diff they're a different type of horn than Aries because I wanted to make sure he doesn't look too similar to Aries as well. Um, so the horns are the horns and like the beard, uh, like the billy goat beard. I gave him the billy goat beard to be like, yeah, goat. Uh, and uh, I gave him some like. I don't know what type of ears that to call them, but they're kind of like some fish uh, designs uh, occasionally have those type of ears. I don't know what they do actually, um, but they kind of look a bit like fins, but I'm not sure if they actually function as fins. I'm, I haven't thought about the logistics of uh, the species. Look. The color palette they gave me was brown and khaki. Uh, khaki is like a green color, but it's not a nice green. It's it's so I'm trying my best with this iffy green color. Um, I don't succeed with trying because I don't like the color, so I change it a few times. And uh, yeah, went with brown with white streaks, and then I add a, a gradient overlay to add some green, a green gradient to it, um, and that kind of has it's like it's kind of ca khaki in between because the green and the brown mix together, and they kind of become a bit more khaki, um, something like that, I guess. Oh, also, the um, I gave a few scales around the eyes going towards the ear. 
uh, as well uh, and later on I add a few more scales on his arms and uh, neck. The eyes are inspired are like the shape of goat eyes um but also octopi also have that uh, type of eye slit yeah octopi and goats kind of have the a similar pupil shape so i thought i i could give him the uh, that pupil shape and it's like it's goat and sea uh creature thing um the background is still the same uh, but since I've made him a bit more blue uh, I'm also trying to f make sure he doesn't blend in too much um, later on it kind of becomes uh, get gains a bit of a um, it's not sickly green but it, it everything kind of ends up getting a green hue to it which uh, the the aim of each um, zodiac image ended up being a bit a tad different than uh, each other, but um, pretty much it's like I want them to have like a at least somewhat of a striking um, image to them, um, and eventually he gets there. Um, it took it really took um quite a bit um since also he has quite dark eyes which again ends up has the same problem as sagittarius of like is this going purple or something else uh another one is slow and steady wins the race uh speaking of that um each um scale is individually shaded again uh and then gone back and added highlights to it it's 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 scales that can be so much work <laughs> because i want them to look good but also there's a lot of them uh and it, he doesn't it, it, he isn't even fully covered in scales it's only like a bit um so yeah, I, I, I wanted to make sure the scales look like scales and not like just patches of grey stuff. Uh, and having a more bluey uh, outline to them or like shading line to them. Uh, one helps them mesh into each other and make them look like they overlap. And also makes them look less grey and have a bit more of a bluish colour, even though the colour hasn't actually changed. Um, I'm giving them some highlights because scales would have highlights. What do you know? Uh, they're shiny. He, his ho ho uh, Taurus's horns didn't have uh, really um, ridges to them, but his do. His and Aries is, 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 is oh, oh god, uh, those horns uh, have kind of um, a pattern, I guess. It's kind of a pattern. So trying to make those look right uh, and three dimensional instead of flat, and just I'm not sure if it worked or not. <laughs> I, I, I kind of goes from I, I'm kind of going from yes th I think I got it right and then it's like I'm not sure the more I look at it the worse it becomes or the better it becomes because his um because his iris is so big I can actually put a decent amount of detail into his eye and it actually looks uh noticeable which is a nice change this is it's kind of a good a, a, a decent way of doing um making the glow of the glow effect work with darker eye colors actually now that i think about it um and additionally uh split new decision uh to make uh the scales glow as well i thought he looked not fish enough i guess um or i or i just wanted some blue uh, i wanted another light source since um his eyes aren't as bright as some of the other uh zodiac signs i've kind of made the eyes less and less bright as i've gone along 
also I've I've realized that I that a lot of my uh, Mo characters there's a playlist uh, I I did do quite a few of them at some point um, have webbed hands uh, I think I just they just kind of seem like an evolutionary thing that Mo people would have you know like webbed hands they they're helpful they're literal they're just fins on your hands and you have appendages that you can hold stuff with um since the ear bits are kind of like fins and i i would think they're a tad see-through they're like they give things a bit of a greenish tint to them but they are still see-through um so the light would still be shining through them so i had to make the sign or the symbol look like so i i kind of wanted him to look like he's wet so like the hair is acting like it's um sticking to him kind of uh so that's a bit of why i'm trying to do use a i guess physics is it physics hair physics hair physics is that is, is a thing right yeah sure um so that's something i was trying to consider uh that's why there's some that seemingly just um are in places where you usually wouldn't put them and like some curl or around his face or neck and stuff like that to try and make him uh, make the hair look like uh, it's damp or wet um, and I am going over with an overlay layer to just make the glowy areas pop a bit more uh, similarly for uh, in the background layer I did the same thing for the symbol I made I did an oopsie and put all of the stars on the same layer as the background layer so I couldn't make them glow uh, and then they kind of ended up being like a... Sometimes I think they're too far close together or whatever. Uh, and then I, I think maybe I've just been looking at it for too long. I'm not sure. But yes, uh, I gave everything a bit of a greenish hue to it. To make it blend in a bit better. That's what I meant by it kind of has a tad sickly looking look N not necessary and that's like purely because of the green lighting and because i wanted to, everything to be dimly lit and you know what scratch that he just kind of have has like a the green who kind of gives it a medicinal look to it uh more than anything else and also kind of just makes it look more underwatery he's a sea goat he can look underwatery and you know it's a reference to how aquarius capricorn the sea goat and pisces all seem like they are water signs you know as you do you want all of your last you want your last three signs to look to be confused for each other you think of course you do like the entire group is confused for each other except sagittarius which is obviously not a water sign do i have i think taurus had green lighting as well he's actually supposed okay his color is brown and green i already have brown lit th thing uh i can't go to like aquamarine or turquoise type green because that's supposed to be for pisces unless it's purple and then i'm in trouble again because i did that for leo um but i i bent the rules a tad to make capricorns green look nice i want capricorn to look nice i want the green to look nice i want nice lighting but yeah uh after capricorn we have aquarius which is an air sign not a water sign very confusing so i'll see you there whenever i get to uploading that but yeah have a wonderful day see you later and goodbye